Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, in a few days from now, Global will be getting two of the most highly anticipated Extreme Z Awakenings of the year, for the Tech Vegito Blue and the STR Rose Goku Black. So in this video, we are going to be breaking down their Extreme Z Battle event as well as their full Extreme Z Awakening details to get you guys prepared for this release. Okay, so with that said, let's jump right into it, starting with the Extreme Z Battle event first. And as you can see, the weakness for this event is the Future Saga category. So if possible, you do want to bring a Future Saga team, or at least uh, mostly Future Saga units on whichever team you want to use, right? And from there, oh, by the way, the release date is not shown here for Global, but it should be December 5th, 2022. From there, we have the actual stages, and as you can see, you start by fighting the uh, Goku Black, and for each clear, you're getting one Dragonstone up until level 20, and then after level 20, you're getting two Dragonstones per clear for a grand total of 40 stones for the stages, as well as a few more stones for Extreme Z Awakening each of them. So if you Extreme Z Awaken both, that's uh, six more stones right there. So 46 stones available from this Extreme Z battle event. And a few other things to pay attention to. Uh, basically after level uh, four, there's additional damage reduction of 70% against Extreme STR units. After level 9, as always, characters that are SSR rarity or lower can only cause less than 2 million damage. And after level 15, there's additional damage reduction of 80% against all AGL types and also extreme STR. So don't bring any AGL types or extreme STR because they're basically going to be doing no damage beyond level 15. And uh, also, after level 15, it's switching over to the Tech Vegito Blue. And basically Vegito Blue for the rest of the event. So uh, yeah, that is the Extreme Z Battle event. Once you clear all 30 stages, you'll get once again 40 Dragonstones, uh, 6 Grand Kai's for Tech and STR, a bunch of STR Orbs and Tech Orbs, and also all the Extreme Z Awakening medals you need to fully Extreme Z Awaken the Vegito Blue and the Rosé. So from there, let's jump over to... The unit details now, and of course, we're starting with the Tech Vegito Blue. So before the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill was Super Tech Types, keep us 3. Uh, HP attack and defense plus 120% when the team includes all 5 Super Types. So it's not like quite a uh, you know Super Type lead because you do have this condition of having one of each type, but... Uh, back then, back in the day when he first came out, this was actually a very good leader skill. And Super Attack raises attack and defense and causes immense damage and passive. Great chance to launch up to two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a Super Attack. Attack plus 15% with each attack performed up to 150%. Now obviously, this guy's offense was off the charts, right? Even now, like, he can do some good damage. The only issue with him was that he had like no defense and even with the stacking of attack and defense on his super attack he was still building too slow for most long events right so of course that issue is uh, addressed with the extreme z awakening new leader skill is super tech types sorry super type allies uh key plus four hp attack and defense plus 140% when team includes all five super types. So this condition right here of having all five types is still there, but it's now 140% and key plus four, as opposed to key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%. And then the super attack raises attack and defense, so still infinitely stacking, uh, disables enemy's guard, and it causes immense damage. Passive is defense plus 150%, good start, plus an additional Defense plus 50% when attacking, and then launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Attack plus 20% with each attack performed up to 200%, key plus 3, and medium chance of performing a critical hit within the same turn after receiving an attack. And uh, his stats get a massive, massive boost. So, with the Extreme Z Awakening, and also, you know, of course, 
fully unlocked at 100%, he's getting 20,393 HP, 20,199 attack, that's crazy, and 10,995 defense. So overall, um, I think this is a impressive Extremes the Awakening. Uh, his damage is going to be off the charts. He's going to be hitting super hard, especially with the multiple supers launching up to, uh, I guess, four supers every turn, right? Up to, not always, but he's got the potential. And of course, stacking attack and defense um, is going to be great for long events. And now that he actually gets some defense to the start, he's going to be much tankier. Is he going to be an amazing tank? No, he's not going to be an amazing tank. Uh, of course, in like short to medium length events, he will still struggle defensively. In longer events, it's going to be less of an issue, but he's still not going to be like the best tank, you know? So you have to be kind of careful with where you place him in the rotation, you know, where he's taking attacks. He can take some attacks, just not, you know, tank uh, super well, right? But offensively, He's going to be incredible. He's going to hit super, super hard. He's going to be a very fun unit to run. I'm not going to say that he's like um, the best EZA by any means. I do think he's one of the better EZAs we've seen recently, but he does have his issues, namely defensively once again, you know, um, you still got to be a little bit careful with him, but he's much better defensively, of course. So that is the Vegito Blue Extreme Z Awakening. I'm really excited for this, mainly because I can't wait to see him launch these crazy supers one after another. Uh, one after another. It's going to be a lot of fun. And of course, showcase coming once this guy drops. From there, let's take a look at the STR Rosé. And, uh, you know, these two are different units, but they're both, I think, equally good in their own way. We'll get to that in a second. Leader skill before the Extreme Z Awakening is Extreme Types, E plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 120% when team includes all five types, sorry, all five extreme types. And then super attack causes immense damage. And then extreme class allies attack plus 30% for one turn. Passive attack plus 120%, extreme class allies, he plus three, and defense plus 50%. And then super class enemies attack and defense minus 20%. So. Uh, just like the Vegito Blue before the Extreme Z Awakening, this guy didn't really get much defense. He does have this part right here, but it's only 50%. Um, it's nice that he's supporting, but otherwise, there's not much going on um, as far as the passive goes. And even the super attack, I mean, this Extreme Class buff right here is good, but... Um, you know, it was it was a very basic unit. He came out a long time ago, you know, in 2017 on JP, so... Can't really expect too much, but with the Extreme Z Awakening, Leader Skill becomes Extreme Type Allies Key Plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 140%. When team includes all 5 Extreme Types, uh, Super Attack greatly raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and Extreme Class Allies attack plus 30% for one turn. So same support, uh, greatly raising defense for one turn is great, that's 50% right there. And then passive is attack and defense plus 150%, extreme class allies, key plus 3, and defense plus 50%. And then realm of gods, extreme class allies, attack plus 50%, super class enemies, attack and defense minus 30%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50%, and attacks effective against all types for the rest of the battle after delivering a final blow, which basically means that they're the one to kill the enemy. So. Um, in longer events, for example, if they're if you're able to like get that uh, final blow with him on like the first or second fight, then he'll be much better for the rest of the fight, right? And uh, stat wise, he of course also is really impressive uh, at rainbow status with the Extreme Z Awakening, eighteen thousand seven hundred forty-five HP, nineteen thousand seven hundred and twenty-one attack, and twelve thousand two hundred and sixteen defense. So great numbers right there, and uh, like I said, he's different from the Vegito Blue in the sense that he's not going to be doing insane damage, you know, getting like all these supers off like the Vegito Blue, but he's going to be a much better support. I mean, Vegito Blue is not a support at all, so this guy is better for utility, better for support. He's providing a lot of defense, 
to your extreme class allies and also key plus three. And on top of that, he's also giving attack plus 50% to Realm of Gods extreme class allies. And before some of the you know, awakenings and new units we saw in JP came out, this maybe was not as useful just because, I mean, as far as extreme Realm of Gods allies go, there weren't that many great options. But now we have the Extremes the Awakening coming up for the uh, Tech LR Rose and Zamasu, and we also have the LR Fusion Zamasu Extremes the Awakening. So for those guys, this is going to make a big, big difference in their damage output. And, uh, you know, even though he's not going to be hitting like crazy hard, he will do some good damage. His attack stat will still be relatively impressive. And uh, he's also not bad defensively. Um, once again, he's not going to be an amazing uh, defender. He's not going to be an amazing tank, but get some good defense, actually. So um, as a whole, yeah, this Rosé is very useful. Amazing support unit. And, uh, you know, another unit I'm really excited for, uh, both these guys, like I said, are gonna be quite good. I don't think either of them are, like, crazy broken. I don't think either, either of them are on, like, the same level as a STR, um, cooler, right? Like, that Extreme Z Awakening is insane. We're not talking about something on that level, but maybe just a tier below that, but still very, very good. So, um... That's basically the breakdown, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you, what you think about these guys. Um, at least on paper. If you've seen showcases, then you know, feel free to give your opinion about that as well. But uh, I think these are just two good Extreme Sea Awakenings that I'm excited to use. Um, for two characters, obviously, that are two of the most, I think, fan-favored characters. That was a weird way to put it. Uh, they're fan favorites, essentially, right? They're fan favorites, so hopefully you guys are hyped, and uh, that's all I gotta say. That is gonna be today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.